Okay, so here we go. We've got comparing ABC and plant-wide overhead cost assignments. So we've got a company that uses ABC. The controller identified two activities and their budgeted costs. So remember, budgeted cost is what we use to calculate the application rate. We're just going to do multiple application rates. So here we have setup and we have other. Okay, we know that the estimated overhead dollars are going to be 76,300, 175,000. If we add these two together, this is the total overhead in the company, $251,300. Setting up equipment is based on setup hours. So now we've got the driver here. I'm gonna just go like this. We got the driver and this is set up hours. And this one is oven hours. Okay, so now we know what both of them are based on. I'm going to put a little line under here. Excellent. So once we have those setup hours and oven hours, we can calculate the application rate for each activity. So it says produces two products, fudge and cookies. Information for each product is as follows. So you'll notice units produced, then you see setup hours. Okay, now the setup hours are a thousand for fudge and 250 for cookies. So set up hours, we need the total hours. So this is estimated uh, driver. So here we go, plus 1,000 plus 250, and then plus 250 plus 1,250. There we go. And we add it up and that's the total. So now we've got the total there. Okay. So because we have those totals, we can now calculate the application rate. So let's go over here and calculate the application rate. Okay, we're going to do the application rate. And our application rate, of course, is going to be our dollars divided by our driver. So our dollars divided by a driver is 6104. And our dollars divided by a driver is 116 and 67. And so this is per set up hours and this is per oven hours. So we have two application rates. So calculate the activity rate for setting up the equipment and the other overhead, done. How much total overhead is assigned to fudge using ABC? So we need to know how much overhead is assigned to fudge using ABC, activity-based costing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the number of setup hours for fudge, 1,000, and this is set up hours. We're then going to take our application rate for setup hours, which is 6104 per setup hour, and we're gonna multiply the two, right? That is $61,040. Let's jump for a second. This is a fudge, right? Fudge. I'm going to do the same thing for the cookies, just to get it out of the way. So for the cookies, I know the total number of setup hours is 250. So I'm going to do 250. And that's, of course, setup hours. I'm going to take the application rate, which is still exactly the same, the 6104 per setup hours. And I'm going to do multiplication and multiply it by this. And once I have that, you can see that this is the amount that is allocated to the fudge and the amount that's allocated to the cookies. If I add those two together, it is equal to 76,300, which makes total sense. Now, I'm going to move this down. I'm going to get rid of this because I just jumped the gun when I did this. So I'm gonna do this lower down. Now, it says here, what is the unit overhead assigned to fudge using ABC? Well, don't forget that fudge here has been assigned setup hours, but fudge has not yet been assigned, of course, the other overhead, right? So for fudge, the other overhead is 250. So I'm going to take the 250, and this is oven hours. I'm also going to take 
the activity rate per oven hour, and I'm going to multiply it. So this is the amount of overhead that I'm going to allocate to the fudge based on the oven hours from the activity that they were involved in, right? And the activity they were involved in is the other overhead. If I add those two together, it's going to tell me the total overhead that has to be allocated to fudge. 90,206, basically 207. Okay, what is the unit overhead assigned to fudge using ABC? So if we want to calculate the unit overhead to fudge, to each fudge cookie, right? What are we going to do? We're going to take the total overhead that we assigned to fudge. So remember, this is the total. I'm going to put it down here. Total overhead assigned to fudge. So now what the question is asking us is, how much overhead is assigned to each piece of fudge? And we see that we make units, 2,500 units. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide it by the 2,500 units of fudge. And if I do that, I'm going to get the overhead per unit. So this is the overhead per unit or per batch. I think we're making batches of fudge. Uh, just a second. Each product. Yeah, I think a unit is like a, a, a unit is a, like a batch of fudge. So this is $36.08 per unit, which is a batch per unit of fudge. So what it's saying is when we take the cost of fudge, we're going to take the direct material, we're going to take the direct labor, and we're going to add in the allocated overhead. But instead of using a plant-wide rate, we are going to use the activity rates. And one of the activities is setting up everything to make the fudge, and the other one is all the other costs. Okay, so we know how much is going to be allocated to each piece of fudge. Okay, so now we can do the same thing to the cookies. So we have the cookies here. We've got the 2,500 hours, set up hours, which is 15,260. But we're also going to do the cookies, and we're going to do the cookies for the oven. Cookies take 1,250 hours in the oven. So that is oven hours. And then I'm going to take the application rate for all that other overhead, I'm gonna multiply the two and multiply it by this. Okay, so the total overhead that's going to be allocated to the cookies is 161,093 dollars. Okay, so keep in mind that's what would happen to the cookies. If I wanted to know the unit, unit overhead to each cookie and it's a batch unit. I'm going to say unit, but it's really a batch of cookies, right? What is it? Well, I'm going to take that total overhead here and I'm going to divide it. What am I going to divide it by? I'm going to divide it by the number of cookies I produce. And I, I produce 12,500 units of cookies. Units of cookies. So what is the per unit overhead that's going to be allocated to each unit of cookies, a batch of cookies? It's $12.88 per unit of cookies. Okay, now I did that twice. It didn't ask me to do that because it said fudge only. Okay, but I wanted to do both so that you could see me do it twice. Now, Next part of the question says, now, ignoring the ABC results, calculate the plant-wide overhead rate based on only oven hours. So calculate the plant-wide rate. And this is from chapter five, right? We're doing the exact same thing from chapter five. We're going to take the total dollars of overhead estimated, and we're going to divide it by the total cost driver estimated. That's what we're going to do. So we know what the total overhead costs are. 
The total overhead costs are the overhead costs for both setting up and the overhead. We don't divide it into activities. We just put them together. So I'm going to add the 76300 plus the 175000 That's the total estimated overhead. I'm going to divide it by the total oven hours. And that's the oven hours for the fudge and the oven hours for the cookies. So I'm going to add in the 250 plus the 1250. There we go. This is going to get me the plant-wide rate, the one rate I would use, $167.53 per oven hour. There we go. We got it per oven hour. Now, how much total overhead is assigned to fudge using the plant-wide overhead rate? So in this case, how much overhead assigned to fudge using the plant-wide overhead rate? Well, I'm going to take, of course, the total number of oven hours for fudge. Total number of oven hours for fudge is 250. So I'm going to take 250 oven hours, and I'm going to multiply it, of course, by the plant-wide application rate, which is $167.53 three cents per oven hour. So how much overhead would be assigned over here if I was using the plant-wide rate? So 41,000, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put a, there we go. $41,883.33 is what would be assigned. Assigned. So this is assigned to all units of fudge. Okay, now let's do a comparison between what was assigned to all units of fudge under the plant-wide rate, right, compared to what was assigned to all units of fudge when I'm using activity-based costing. Look at the difference. I'm going to just do, this is 90,000 was assigned. Over here, only 41,883. Why is the assigned under the plant-wide rate so low? It's because the fudge doesn't stay in the oven for very long. It spends a long time being set up, but it sp stays in the oven for a very short period of time. And so what's happening is we're under allocating. Using the plant-wide rate, our driver is not representing the majority of the work that is done on fudge. The majority of the work on fudge is in the setup hours. And because we're using a plant-wide rate, using only one cost driver, and the cost driver we're using is oven hours, it's not representing the use of resources that fudge is using up. So it says, explain why the total overhead assigned to fudge is different under ABC than under the traditional system. And that's exactly why. All right. Can we see that I'm doing the same thing as the departmental rates, but instead of calling it a department, I'm calling it activities. And remember, I'm going to have multiple activity rates. And that means when I allocate overhead, I have to allocate it from one activity and then the next activity. And if there were four activities, I would apply it four times over. And you can see why activity-based costing does have some benefits, right? It also has some drawbacks. It's expensive to run. It's expensive to maintain. If you don't get your uh, employees on side, then probably they're not going to use it properly. There's, there's drawbacks, but there's also benefits. I thought this one was a good question to start with because it really does show the difference between the plant-wide rate and then the activity-based rate.